um, you know, for people from Ukraine, when they were looking at the election results uh, and they saw the division, you know, between people, some of whom are Russian speakers, some ethnically Ukrainian or Russians and Moldovans, but also, a, you know, a split people who wanted closer connections to Europe and, you know, through the association agreement and other people who wanted to join the Russian-led, uh, you know, trade and possible economic union. I mean, are those divisions in Moldova similar to those in Ukraine? How split is the country at this moment? Look, those divisions go right through our society. Those divisions are not territorial. Uh, you know, we have, we have a couple of regions that are heavily pro-Russian, but, you know, the, the uh, ethnic composition in Moldova is very mixed, and pretty much you have uh, Ukrainians, uh, Moldovans of Ukraine, of Russian, of Moldovan, Romanian origin, living side by side. Uh, and the opinion is really, the, the opinion is really divided. And that is, that is the reason why uh, we have tried to handle the situation very carefully. Uh, as I said, you know, we, we have explained to the people and uh, we have uh, clearly communicated to them that there is no other option for the Republic of Moldova, that there is no other model that can turn this country into a functioning state. We have explained very clearly that the customs union is not really much of an option because we have Ukraine and we cannot really be, uh, you know, a geopolitical pivotal point in Ukraine's own backyard. So therefore, for us, it is, is, it is not really an option. So we, we've tried to pursue a very constructive agenda. And at the same time, we, of course, try to keep our relations with, uh, with Russia on track because you know that Russia, of course, uh, uh, is concerned primarily about uh, geopolitics, about security. About well, very, very interesting.